Today on Passion for Food, a truly corny video. Popcorn. It's fluffy, it's crunchy, it's low in calories, and if you make this for friends, it's sure to make you more popular. But hang on, don't buy those bags of microwave popcorn with their artificial ingredients and their weird goop. I'm going to show you how to easily turn this into this. It takes about three minutes start to finish and you almost definitely have all the tools you need for this already. So let's go ahead and pop off here and get started. Now let's take just a moment and talk about corn. You want to get yourself a good quality popping corn. I would just tell you which one to get, but I'd hate to be a Boreville. Seriously though, Redenbacher did spend a significant amount of time trying to come up with the perfect popping corn and I think he succeeded. You know, I have tried some of this specialty red popping corn that uh, I can get around here locally. It, uh, it does work, but it just doesn't pop up very big. You can see the kernels are quite small. I do like that for caramel corn, but not for regular popcorn. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Hey, Graham, why don't I just buy a bag of this microwave popcorn? Well, apart from all the weird fake ingredients I mentioned earlier, these just normally don't taste very good. This is the leading brand's extra butter variety, which is kind of ironic because there's no butter on the ingredient list. But what's actually even more concerning to me are the liners they use in these bags. In fact, right up until 2016, a lot of these bags still contained perfluorooctanoic acid, which was added to help keep the bags oilproof as you heat them, but has since been banned as a cancer risk. So I'm not sure what they're using now, but I know what I'm going to be using, and that's just a plain brown paper bag. Now, even though Redenbacher himself was a firm believer of stovetop popping being superior, personally, I think the microwave is the best tool for popping popcorn. Specifically because of the heat delivery. On the stovetop, you're heating the outside of the kernel, but in the microwave, that little bit of water on the inside of the kernel can be directly heated by those microwaves, leading to a much faster starchy explosion. In any event, for our standard size lunch bag, we want one third of a cup of popcorn. Now, originally when I learned to do it this way, I used to put butter and seasoning down in the bag as well, but not only is that a waste, it creates quite a bit of mess too, so that's not how we're doing things today. So let's just fold the top of the bag down two or three times, and that's it. We're ready to whisk this off to our microwave. And we're just going to microwave our popcorn on high for about three minutes. And the key is to just listen to it. And once you're down to about one pop per second or so, you know you're done. It's time to stop and pull out the popcorn. Which reminds me of a joke. Hey, what do you call a really high-ranking snack? A popcorn kernel. Now, as good as this looks and as wonderful as it smells, you wouldn't want to eat it without seasoning it first. It will taste something like packing peanuts. So let me show you my two favorite ways to season this. First is just regular salted butter. Now, clarified butter would be better, but, you know, gee whiz, I just don't keep that stuff around. So we just want to drizzle on that warm butter. And what you want to do is avoid adding that very last little bit. You see that? That is our milk solids and water. You don't want to add that. That's what will make the popcorn seem a little damp. And nobody likes damp popcorn. And even though that is salted butter, we still want to add a nice generous pinch of salt. That's maybe a teaspoon or so. And then just give it a good toss. Now, while that is classically delicious, let me show you a quick little spice blend that I put together specifically for popcorn to really take this to the next level. I like to use a coffee grinder to get really fine particles that'll stick to the corn, and to that we're going to add a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Yes, that's the stuff from the green tube, don't you judge me. We also want about a teaspoon each of salt and a good quality curry powder. We'll just take that for a real quick spin here, and you can see why I like the coffee grinder for this particular job. You get a really fine powder. You really need that so it can stick to those popcorn kernels, otherwise the spice just falls right off. So let's grab this and go season our corn. I like to do this in the bag while the popcorn is still hot. So let's dump in our Parmesan curry seasoning. 
Once you have that in there, we just want to give our bag a shake. Go side to side, up and down, and all around. You can just really have fun with that part. Hey, I mean, who doesn't like shaking things up in the kitchen, am I right? Now, with all that Parmesan cheese in there, this doesn't necessarily need butter. It's delicious just the way it is. But I'll be honest with you guys, I'm definitely going to put some butter on there also. After all, butter is a great way to churn up the flavor on our easy microwave popcorn. We'll just give that a real quick shake and our beautiful popcorn is ready to serve. I hope I've inspired you to give this a try and stop buying those suspect bags of weird goop. I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Passion for Food. If you have, give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss our future recipes. And check out one of our other great videos playing on the screen now. This has been Graham with Passion for Food.